in this video I will show how to find Delta records from a table in SQL uh, so what is a Delta record so Delta record is basically the new records or the updated records when comparing to a previous table so in normal cases see some kind of transactions is happening within the system so every time the database table will get updated so if you want to get the latest updated data compared to a previous timestamp that time we'll be using similar queries to get the latest updated or inserted records so uh, in order to get a more uh, concrete idea uh, let me first query the two tables which we will be using so these are the two tables which we will be using so consider we have two tables which is t underscore person and t underscore person new uh, let me query both the tables so see uh, what we can see is a table which has four columns id name date of birth dop and gender and second column second table is also having the same schema uh, the columns are id name dob and gender so uh, this is the old table which is t underscore person consider that this is the snapshot taken during the past which will let it be like before five minutes we took a snapshot of the data and we have this t underscore person table the first one and later on at a point of time we have taken another uh, snapshot of the same table and that is t underscore person underscore new and this is the second table so uh, by looking itself we can let us compare each of the columns so this is a small table so we can compare visually and try to understand what is actually happening so uh, the first thing is uh, first row is same for both the tables it does not have any difference uh, now let us come to the second table second row with the id 2 so it's 2 gary 2 gary and dob date of birth and gender is different in both the tables so this t this row has got updated uh, during a during the time period like the future it was uh, in past it was some other data now currently uh, it is some other data which has got updated so now in the third row also we have the same data bam uh, and the other things are same dob is same and gender is also same so what we want is we want to compare these two tables and find or we, or we have to display only the data or the row which has been updated so here uh, what we want as the result is from this t underscore person underscore new table we wanted this second row as the output that is only this row got updated or has some change compared to the previous table t underscore person so this is the row or the output that we want so now let's try creating a query for a query to get the output so uh, in sql we have like multiple uh, methods to reach the result uh, the required row we can uh, attain using multiple methods so uh, i will be showing three methods so the first method will be uh, using exist uh, it it will be a kind of correlated query so let me start writing the query using exist mm -hmm. select star from we wanted the row from t underscore person underscore new and now where not exist select one from this call this table t underscore person where now we have to write the correlated condition which means the 
comparison should happen inside this subquery written inside the now exist where uh, let me give an alias for this one then it will be easy to use tpn let me give an alias for this also tp so now it will be easy for me to write it again and again tpn dot id equal to tp dot id these are the column names let me complete the query then i will explain how what is actually happening tpn dot name equal to tp dot name and tpn dot dob date of birth equal to tp dot dob and tpn dot gender equal to tp dot gender so now let me try running this query and let us see if we are getting the result uh, that we are supposed to get okay now we have got some result let us see so these are the results for the two tables then this is the result for the uh, delta record that we have to obtain from the table so now we are getting the result which is the row second row to gary uh, 2001 january 1st female this is the only record which has got updated we are getting the result so what happened here is each of this condition will be checked and only if that is satisfied that row will be displayed otherwise it won't be displayed so tp dot id this tpn which means the id from both the tables will be compared and only if that condition satisfies also we have to make sure that here it's not exist uh, instead here it is not exist which means uh, the id this should not be equal in both the tables only that result will be uh, shown as the output so this is the result we are getting that is to gary 2001 january 1st and female this is the first method now uh, let me show the second method using another sql clause which is except using except so what happens in except is it compares both the table and their table will get compared and uh, so it is like subtraction so what happens is the second table minus the first table so let me query the first two table what happened here is this table minus this table that will happen here so what happened here is the first row minus this one we have the row here so it get detected then the second row we don't have the similar row here so it will stay then the final row three bam this record also we have here it will get detected so what happened here is uh, from the new person table we only have we only have this record left then only that record will be shown as the output so let me write the query using except select star from copy except select star from the other t underscore person see this query will also give us the same result which means the delta record which is the updated record only updated record all other records won't be shown the records without any change or uh, records having no change compared to the previous timestamp will not be shown only the record which has some kind of change will be shown here so this is the second method now let me show another method using join so how that happen here is so uh, using join select 
star from yes let me copy the table name along with the alias tp.n now i'm going to join the second table which is t underscore person let me write the alias name here also tp then on i'm going to uh, use all these names let me copy the entire thing because i'm going to use the same condition here yes on where see where clause i am using because uh, i am going to join the table uh, with a specific condition which is joining with exclusion which means the common elements will not be shown common elements uh, also all the records in the second table will not be shown only uh, the records which is present in the first table will be showing which means it won't be showing any common elements in the two tables instead it will be showing unique records which are present in the table t underscore person underscore new so i'm going to write that condition here so tp where tp dot id is null and tp dot name is null and tp dot order is null tp dot gender is null now let me try running this query let's see what happened mm, there is some error i'm getting incorrect syntax near keyword order uh, where is order no we don't have any order tp dot dob date of birth now i think it should be correct i wrote some wrong column name if we are getting the result uh, yes yes now we are getting the result uh, so but there is one correction because we are getting the id name dob and gender from the second table which is t underscore person so what i have to do is i have to select only columns from the first one tp n dot star which means i will get only the columns from the first table which is tp underscore person underscore t underscore person underscore n yes now using this join method also i am getting the delta record which means the incremental record or the incremental load that is the row which has got updated or new row which has got inserted into the sql table comparing to a previous timestamp Thank you.